What's going on guys, Orzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 91 Griezmann Moments card, but I did pick up the ones to watch card because it is currently going for cheaper and it's exactly the same card. So I said why not at the end of the day. I did pick them up for 295k, 83 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 shooting, 74 physical and 88 passing. I tell you what, the stats look very, very nice. The last time I did a Griezmann card, it was actually his foot birthday card and... It had a five-star weak foot, which I'm always going to miss on Griezmann because I'm used to him having a five-star weak foot now, but I have to go back to the three-star weak foot. Now, he is five foot nine, so he is the meta height. High, high work rates. I'm going to just have to put stay forward, stay central on him, and that will most likely fix it. He's got a four-star skill moves as well, so the Berber and the standing scoop turn should be perfect. And as I said, the three-star weak foot, it's always going to be a problem. Everyone knows Griezmann is left-footed and has that five-star weak foot. And that's what makes that foot birthday card so, so good. The fact that he can cut onto the right foot and actually shoot with it. Now, he is on a Hunter Chem style. He is on 10 Chem. 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. His pace is insanely fast and it will be outpacing most centre-backs. 99 attack and positioning, 98 finishing with 95 shot power. Outside foot shot trait, finesse shot trait, and the chip shot trait, which means he has all shooting traits in this game with the 86 long shots, the 99 volleys, and the 99 penalties. This guy's about to finish the ball inside the box, left, right, and center. 90 vision, 86 crossing, 89 free kick accuracy, 89 short passing, 85 long passing with 90 curve. Now, I'll tell you what, passing wise, I love, love. Griezmann in a cam role because his passing is so so good with how good his agility is as well this guy can literally pass with either foot three star minimum for passing wise is more than fine if it goes to two star that's when it starts to become a problem but the fact that he can pass with either foot when passing it's going to be beautiful honestly the 92 agility with the 84 balance 84 balance I believe is the second biggest issue on this card, or maybe even the third. With 94 reactions, 92 ball control, and 89 dribbling, and 91 composure, sorry. I was, I'm expecting this guy to take a very nice and composed touch, be very calm in the ball, you know, do the little quick turn so he can spin, in, spin his opponent inside out. 91 jumping, 5 foot 9, I would say 5 foot 11 and below. Probably pushing six foot if maybe he actually puts a bit of aggression into it. 89 stamina, meaning he can last throughout the whole 90 minutes. And the second biggest issue, being, first being his weaker foot, 64 strength. I always, always know Gr uh, Griezmann for a person that is always going to be weak. And is always going to be shifted off the ball. And that is a problem we are going to have today. I can already see it. With the 75 aggression, he's going to lose a lot of 50-50s with it. Now, today I have linked him up with Dembele and Max. I've also got likes of Dekorve, Bakayoko and Suzoko around him. I will be using Griezmann in a 4-4-2, playing him in that striker role. But I also want to try him in that in that cam role, the best position, I believe, for Griezmann. So I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone is on the ball. And yeah, Griezmann seems seems very, very nice. Little hill to hill. Get the angle. Keep going. Double ball roll. Sending the keeper the wrong way. And look at that. What have I just seen on my screen? Still using this double ball roll little tactic to this very day just to get past the keeper guaranteed. And it was a really good angle to Griezmann to hit it with the left foot. But, you know, De Gea just comes in slight tackling like there is no tomorrow. Now, we're going to do the same tactic where I aim left all the way. I even click B going left, but I aim straight down the... I was meant to say straight down the middle, but my aiming was a bit of a sticky one. We move on. St. Max, Grease. Little beautiful turn and touch. He is away. I am going to hit it near post, and most likely it is going to go into the back of the net. That little touch and turn was so effective because it gave him that acceleration that he needed after and was just like taking it into the stride to get the angle. And what a finish it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go the same way, little hill to hill. Come on now. You don't get a better finish than that. And you don't get a better skill run. Absolutely sending his two centre-backs for a hot dog. And I tell you what, what a little hill to hill to get the angle back towards that near post. And an absolute rocket from Griezmann with the left foot. No chance to hear saves that one. Nice, Griezmann's in space. Little drag back, straight past the play, and just like that, we have another goal. Griezmann is an, on a roll, 42 minutes in, and we're already 3-0 up. Three goals with him, and I tell you what, no one can stop this man right now. Nice. 
Nice, sending him the wrong way. Fake shot, scoop turn around the play. It should be a finish, but Griezmann gets put in the worst animation possible and just has to go back behind the ball to actually get the shot off. This guy has no idea where we're going with Griezmann. We shimmied left, we shimmied right past two players. There's not much else we can do. Saint, Suzoko, Griezmann, sharp turn, half track back, heel to heel towards the left foot. Ball roll, get the angle. Can I get an RBA across? That is super, super unfortunate. But the one thing we have to take away from that is, did you see the nice and close quarter dribbling from Griezmann? He keeps it so close to his feet, where if the player does lunge in, most likely they won't be getting the ball. They will be getting Griezmann and will most likely get a penalty out of it. Nice, little pass to Griezmann. Undercut, back towards his left. Take one more touch. It's going to be a tight angle, and I did not expect that to go into the back of the net at all. I was just quite surprised, to be fair. He didn't read Griezmann's left foot there, and a lot of people are starting to read his right foot. I don't know why. Maybe because they're playing the foot birthday card a lot, and they're seeing people cut onto the right foot. Little switch I play with the left foot. Beautiful switch. Go on, Griezmann. Little ball roll. I like I'm going to cut back onto that right foot, use the outside foot shot trait, and that like just like that, we do go 1-0 up. And I tell you what, it was literally, I was about to cut onto the left, but then I thought to myself, hold up, he has the outside foot shot trait, so I can actually still cut onto the right, but it can't be that like direct, uh, sorry, uh, like the angle to use his right foot. It has to be the angle to use the outside foot shot trait, so it flies into the near post. Griezmann. Oh, once again, cutting onto that right foot. And can I get another finish? Yes, I can. Beautiful finish. It's pretty much the same situation. But this time, it was a bit further out. And I did not expect this to go in at all. And it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful power shot into the near post. Oh, there you go. He's made a beautiful run once again. Oh, the outside foot shot angle was there. But he did bring out the keeper this time. So I can understand why he missed it. But Griezmann there giving me a good passing option. Little pass to Saint. Pass back to Griezmann. Oh, come on now. That is two little, you know, little mistakes, I would say, in a row. And that is something I'm not liking. Oh, a little pass to Max. He has pushed out with Boateng. It should be an easy finish. Did I just see Griezmann go for a no-look shot when it's pretty much wide open? I wasn't even holding LT when I was shooting as well. And he's just going to do the little, the little Griezmann celebration. But at the end of the day, I wasn't holding LT here. And let's actually look at this. You see him. He went like this and then he turned his head. Interesting. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is interesting. I must say off ball movement is a bit weird. It's not like a spot on. And he does give you the passing option most of the time. But there is some situations, especially when you put him up front, that he starts running behind players. And I have no idea what his rotational kind of movement is because it could possibly be one of the actual worst things I've ever seen. If you put him up front, he starts making a run behind the center back, then behind the full back, and then starts coming round to go into the striker position once again. And I'm just like what have i just witnessed because the foot birthday card did exactly the same thing it must be what they've done like mechanical wise between it was like four griezmann but i really don't understand it and that is one like that is one problem i was actually having with him but let's actually look at the stats one more time five foot nine not an issue at all high high work rate that could honestly be it but I've never seen anyone. I've used so many high, high work rate strikers. I've never seen anyone have a rotational rotational kind of run like Griezmann does. Now, the four-star skill move was nice. I love the burber spin about him. But the hill to heel was definitely my favorite skill move with him. The three-star weak foot, it wasn't terrible because he had the outside foot shot trait. But it was a bit of an awkward one because you kind of have to go more towards the defender if you want to do the outside fissure trait and when you're doing the outside fissure trait you kind of have to have more space than if he was cutting on sorry yeah that's exactly what i said you're gonna have to have more space when cutting on the outside fissure trait than just shooting with the right foot because when you shoot on the right foot the ball goes away from goal but when you're going to shoot an outside fissure trait the ball is going directly towards goal and that is the problem now, pace-wise, he was actually really, really fast, and I loved these fake shots around the corners. Finishing-wise, really nice to be fair to him. All the, like, the clear-cut chances was going into the back of the net. As I clearly just said, the weaker foot is always going to be a problem. Let's all be fair. Passing-wise, over-top through balls, little link-up play, one-twos was beautiful with him. Dribbling on the spot, outrageous. Running and dribbling, 
mm, bit of an issue. He took really bad touches when going when passing to him already on the run. And that was like one of the issues I was having because the ball would go too far away from the body. And then it would just be an easy tackle pretty much. Stamina lasts us throughout the whole 90 minutes. Strength. To be fair to you, I didn't really see strength come into play at all. But he didn't really get into shoulder to shoulder like animations. What I did see come into play was him losing a lot, a lot of 50-50s. That is the one thing that I was absolutely despising. And losing that many 50-50s, it's never going to be a good look. Let's just say that. But I have to give this card a rating at 10. I'm going to give him the same rating. I felt like I disrespected the foot birthday rating, the foot birthday card just a little bit. I believe if I have to give it a rating once again, I'll probably give it like a 9 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. But for me, this card is an 8 out of 10. The only issue with Griezmann that I've always had this year is the rotation when playing him up front. And that's why I said I do love him in cam. If you put him in a cam, 9 out of 10, easily. But if you play him up front, 8 out of 10, without a doubt but if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and for now peace